Um, so I've spent more or less 20 minutes refining here and there, giving a, be a better flow in general to the design. And what I'm going to do now is to, um, first of all, actually, I'm going to um, split this part because just in case it's not going to look great, I want to be able to hide um, this piece. So, okay. Like this. And then you go to geometry. Oh, sorry, sub tool, split. Um, doesn't let me because, of course, we add that layer of subdivision. So, a little lower, split, masked points. So now we have the tongue in another layer. Um, so. What I'm going to do now is to take this creature and we're going to want to uh, send it to Keyshot, which is a um, um, really amazing uh, rendering software. And so I'm going to do this and this render button and our scene should be here in a few seconds. Um, the good thing about ZBrush and Keyshot is the ZBridge, which automatically send the um, geometry from ZBrush to the rendering software. And it's so quick um, and it saves you the time. And actually, uh, every time you do an update to ZBrush, for example, um, this, I hit the button edit again and it's almost instant. Otherwise, imagine to export every time and import every time. Now what I want to do is go back. All right. So first of all, um, we're going to work on the material. And to do so, uh, we said um, according to the references, we would have gone for something really transparent to, in order to show uh, what's inside. So I will uh, really start with um, plastic and I will directly go for a cloudy plastic. So. Now what I want to show you is the difference between this model here. Okay, let's make it more transparent. And actually activate the GPU, which is going to make a huge difference in terms of um, speed. So in this case, you can see here um, the transparency looks solid, but what if I want to give more transparency and less deformation inside? That's something we really um, can do quickly and easily. Uh, this is um, a kind of a trick and I really uh, do it every time I need to work with membranes and skin. So um, I'm going to just click and control outside here to invert the mask in order to have the whole uh, mesh masked and then extract. So now, because I know it's 0 0.0001 to have a really thin um, extract. So what I'm going to do is create a skin over the model and then I'm going to use that instead of the closed um, solid mesh. So basically, um, this is going to help us to um, give depth inside the creature. All right. So now we can, oh yeah, accept. So now we have this 
and this, which basically looks almost the same with just a little bit less of detail. This happened because we have some smooth in it. So let, let's go back here and do it without smooth. Accept. All right, now it looks exactly the same and this can be deleted. All right, let me hide this and we go again to Keyshot. All right. So now okay, let's use the same we used. Probably now you can't really see the difference, but you you'll see it once you put like um some more lighting and detail on the environment. Um I've actually created already um a lot of materials in my career and I usually start from what I have and today I'm going to show you um, how to uh, achieve some of this and for example um, this material here which is basically just two materials mixed with a curvature so again let's switch to GPU And for example, here you can see this material is glass and then translucent. So basically it's a transparent with a translucent and mixed with this mask. So basically the white is gonna show me the first material, the black is gonna show me the second one. This is really um helpful in, to show details because of course the curvature um, is going to work um, as an occlusion almost so in between the shapes and of course in this case which is something I kind of like um, I keep the mesh um, lower rest so I can get the difference of the material even on the edges of the polygons which is something that seen from far looks kind of cool and I want to keep it. Um, if I hide this, this is another material, which is basically a mix, same exact mix, but with different colors and depth. Again, here is the mask. Um, Basically, you can just have a material at the other one and then go to um, textures and curvature. And then you can basically use this node as a mask. Uh, unfortunately, this is not going to be a detailed tutorial on how to make materials. We, we should spend uh, many hours doing that. Um, I hope this workflow uh, will help you. We will help you uh, creating concepts and amazing scenes. So if we show all parts and we give this material to the tongue as well. Yes. And for example, we go back to our plastic and we put some really translucent Okay, let's make it more translucent. Um, for the Keyshot users, um, as you can see here, the GPU is, is giving me a straight away translucent material, which is crazy how fast it is compared to um, something with not these uh, graphic cards. Because um, since the RTX 3090s, um, since I have them, I I think I'm 10 times faster than my um, 2 per 10 ATTI. Um, 
I'm gonna try some of the materials I've saved for the creature. So let's try this, which is kind of similar, just with some more. So what we can now start to do is to use a environment. I usually use an HDR just to give a base for the lighting. And then I usually put artificial light and, for example, this one. Can be. something and then let's hide for now and let's use a color okay kind of a good natural lighting just looking around and check. Okay, cool. That's really nice. Uh, transparent material. Oops, nope. Um, for now, let's, let's go with this one and let's uh, create maybe two different moods. So as you can see, all the details I've, add, um, I've added in ZBrush now can be seen also thanks to the material. Okay, sometimes I'd, I'd like to try this copy material, base material. Nope. for now let's keep it with this then um, in order to have um, underwater effect what we need is to add geometry and cube because we're gonna use this as a um, volume scattering basically we're gonna add like a fog with a bluish greenish color oh my god this is okay switch to gpu again much faster i don't know why when you add or import or okay i need to do this just to check if we go okay then here I have some preset. Let's go back here to this. All right. Basically, um, I've saved a bunch of them, but you can find as a base here. So scattering is basically the same, but if you set and put on higher, okay, hold on one sec. Ah, no, okay, okay, of course we have a density texture here. That's why. Whoops. OK. 
Okay, wait a second. Whoa. It's really, really dense. So, yeah. That's basically the same. So, this or this is just a bit more dense. Let's keep this for now. And next will be add a proper lighting. So edit, add light, and I like spotlight, which I'm gonna put up. And rotate a little bit like If you press L, you can hide or show uh, the direction of lighting. Okay. Something like this. L. Let's see, okay. Back to the cube. Stay with this one for now. And next thing will be camera. I would like to go for something like long lens and depth of field. So long lens plus depth of field is going to give us the micro effect. So this creature. It's kind of really small. Something else I always do is to switch to photographic and add chromatic aberration. Bit of exposure, contrast. Okay, let's go wild. Two hundred. Yes. Just want to try to hide the tongue. So this is getting more um, translucent, translucent rather than transparent, but I kind of really like uh, what's going on here. So I think I'm going to um, stay on this. Uh, let's try something darker here. Uh, 
Yes. Save this and now let's explore a little bit. Um, if we want more contrast, actually, we can drop down uh, the brightness of the environment, but this is not really underwater uh, unless we smooth a little bit the lighting, like radius a little bit, and probably the fell off. It's crazy how how quick it is, because um, something like this two years ago would have taken probably like two hours to 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 be seen like this. Or um, and actually, I'm a real lover of transparency and translucency. And most of the times, I was really trying to find like different solution, um, composition, um, like composite the renders different renders in photoshop but now this is almost real time and that's absolutely crazy and that's a like game changing even before having my two uh, 3090s i had a pretty good setup and with my two 1080 ti um, i was kind of um, really hyped to try the gpu on keyshot but it was definitely definitely not as good as with the rtx and that's definitely again a game changer now i'm just waiting a little bit to let it load i'm gonna press p saving the, the screenshot i'm gonna save this camera because i kind of like it save and lock and now let's explore a little bit more Maybe from the top, but in this case, what I would do now is to actually okay, let me deactivate it one second. Depth of field, let's make everything quicker, even if it's kind of quick already. Uh, let's add geometry plane. Remember to switch to GPU again every time you import. And let's make this plane here much bigger. Yes. Okay. And then we can uh, basically create use one of these materials with the terrain, which is nothing. Uh, but just a normal material with a um, texture from Megascan or um, maybe a terrain from Shutterstock. And the same material as above, same texture, sorry. So now that we have this, of course, we need to be careful because I think the cameras are below this. So this is something we are going to show only uh, with the top views cameras. So in this case, let's do this. And our cube. If you're missing some um, geometry around, 
um, what I do usually is I just go here and I duplicate. Move. Maybe stretch. And again, you can do it as many times as you want. Keyshot is really uh, good at handling the polygons. So. All right, so just in case I want to save this angle and I want to go back to the other one and hide part and check, of course, this guy is hiding. So what I do is move and move away. Or actually, we can just cancel. And for different shots, we're going to hide or show rocks. Yeah. Uh, let's go back here. Only concern here is yes. So bringing back um, the lighting from the environment, but keeping the color is going to give us a, like a really nice contrast. And we can actually duplicate and this higher contrast. And this is the one we kind of like it the most. Again, let's go explore. One is more contrasty, the other one is more oh uh, maybe I will stay with something like halfway. Double check. 3.7. Something important to understand is every camera, every angle must be reworked, especially like in cinema, in cinema and like movies, um, spots, everything is in a way cheating um, in, in order to show as much as possible with the best lighting and best material and best scene most of the time. And lighting changes every time we change camera to to better show the the model. I'm really liking this detail here. Okay, let's wait a little bit. Can you see how much transparency here compared to the rest of the body? This is because of our extract, uh, because here is really thin and with the cloudiness, um, it's going to give depth the more the materials add itself. So this is so cool. I'm going to screen grab. Let's try with a black environment. A bit less, so no, it's not black, black, black. Okay. 
All right. So experiment one, a bit more flat. Here, more contrasty. Maybe for this camera here, depth of field is too much. So let's try five. Just a bit more, three. Nice. These are different tests I did with the material. Let's try to bring back our little tank. Mm, not really sure. That's the like more transparent material. Again, you can find it in plastic and here. And then you can control the transparency distance less or more like one. Let's get closer so we can see this through the arm. Uh, that's a really tough material to calculate. So this is going to take a while. The good thing about um, having uh, GPU plus the noise. It's this is gonna be detailed maybe in a couple minutes, uh, but I can already see perfectly almost real time how it will be lighting wise and material wise. So uh, because um, before uh, GPU rendering, um, Keyshot and CPU rendering was really uh, kind of slow with these kind of materials, and it was always a surprise after the render after maybe even hours of uh, rendering and you didn't like something of the material and you had to do it again and then wait for hours. Now it's so quick. Okay, let's go back to our material here and then I'll show you later a few more examples. So creature, double. What if we use this, which is basically same material, but darker, the second one. Uh, kind of super cool. And now, um, I'm gonna check um, a few cameras, so please enjoy and see you at the end of this video.
so now what I want to do is so now what I want to do is to create like a close up and see how realistic it is. So we need to probably remove a little bit of depth of field. Save. Let's go for another one. I like this one too. I'm gonna save them and then um, I'm gonna give each of them like five minutes to load. Even if I think two minutes, it's it's enough to have the maximum details we we need actually. So I kind of like this one too. Maybe it's better than the other one. I yeah. So now I'm gonna speed up uh, the video a little bit because probably uh, this process is gonna take me a while picking and choosing uh, the right cameras and shots. So um, hope you enjoy the video and the music and see you in a little bit with a few more uh, info. All right, so before we go to Photoshop for the final touches, um, I would like to give more um, realism to the rocks and the creature itself. And uh, in this case, what we're going to do is to create some irregularity and some um, particles in a way. Keyshot has recently um, added the fur and the fuzz, uh, fuzz um, material, which uh, can be added uh, um, to every material. So basically, um, we're going to try. Uh, you can plug something here on geometry. So if we right click and we go in geometry and we go for fuzz, That's why we have multiple monitors, but <laughs> all right. 
Oh, wait one second. Let's do it first on the rock. Okay. Again, geometry. This. Let's plug it to geo. Okay, let's move a little bit the camera so we can see more. All right. So um, let's give um, material. And we go for plastic cloudy. The surface, I know we, we cannot see yet, but let's try this. So uh, length 0 0.01, let's try this. Length variation. Um, I would stay for something like this. Let's try uh, randomness. Um, let's go, I don't know, for five. Radius. Mm, I'm, I've tried a few times, so I, I know more or less where and how to do this. Uh, density, uh, you can't see yet because we you need to execute first. And density, I think this is too much for what I want. Let's try this. Uh, segments we can change later, actually. So I don't know, max curves, uh, I think it's fine. And ribbons, more execute. Hmm. So let me see if the material is the problem. So execute. Ah, yeah, you can see them here. Let's try to remove one zero more thickness. Here we go. So now basically I want to make this almost same color. Uh, here let's try to do uh, oops no Okay. Uh, what might be roughness? Nope. I'll try this. Oh my god, that's why. Every time you do something, you need to execute. My bad, sorry. All right, so now it's too bright. Let's try something like... Um, more or less the color. Like this. Execute. All right, even if I think this is execute. Yeah, I just want to create some um, algae or irregularities to give some scale. So this guy's kind of really small. And well, we can. 
can do is let's try to invert this like so. All right, so now we can for now keep it as it is. And now we do the same thing on the creature. Uh, in this case, I already have the here. same process. You just need to um, find the right balance. So let's go back to our original camera. Need to copy, paste on the other ones. So in this case, we got some of the underwater uh, particles. Go back here and see what's going on. So we can see the difference between this without. and with. Cool. Anyway, I think I'm going to do uh, two renders, one uh, with and one without, so we can composite in Photoshop. And see you next um, video with uh, a bunch of renders done and um, Photoshop.